What's up, PV Poppers? Jordy Pop, 83 here today, and man, I am so stoked on this video right now. So I have a, a new idea for battle videos where I'm gonna give you guys like a lot more information. So I used to do these videos called By the Numbers, and I'm sure some of you long time viewers are familiar with those, where I break a Pokemon down and show you the resistances and uh, the moves and just all the information you would ever need, want to know about all the matchups and stuff that a Pokemon can do. I'm actually working on, uh, well, it was gonna be one of those right now, on Cresselia, but it, there's so much information on Cresselia with the two different movesets and two different leagues that I'm gonna break it up into two different videos for Cresselia and Great League and then Cresselia and Ultra League. I'm still working on that, I'm in the middle of that. This video today is a, another idea called Battle Analysis where I'm gonna take close losses and uh, analyze them, uh, analyze the, the closer matches, matchups in those battles and um, and just give you guys more information and hopefully help you to uh, you know learn something so you can make the next close loss a close win. All right, so let's get into these battles and see what we got going on here. All right, so as you can see in the middle of the screen here, you're gonna see a bunch of information on the moves, uh, the fast moves and both uh, charge moves. You're gonna be seeing the percentage of damage that it will do to the opponent it's DPE and the energy cost. All right, so we got Togekiss into Machamp. He's gonna switch out immediately into uh, Metagross and I'm gonna switch into my Machamp. Now, Machamp's cross shops are gonna be doing 41.3% damage to a Metagross, but those Meteor Mashes are gonna be hitting you for 86.4%, 108 damage, that's so insane. So the Machamp Metagross matchup basically means you have to shield once right um the the zero shield does come out close so if you do want a little bit of farm on the end you can decide to not shield which would be very gutsy but if you do decide to do that you're going to end up with a, a you know a couple of hp um on the metagross at the end and then you can decide to um you know to come down and farm with something else so we took that to the zero one uh the the one zero shield. So that's why we ended up with a 772 rating. Now Machamp into other Machamp. Just a nice little mirror match. You're just gonna go straight cross chop and do as much damage as you possibly can. All right, so using one shield, we're able to take out almost two entire Pokemon on this team. Um, I think this battle here is actually a close win. And then uh, the next battle is gonna be a hair hair f falling off <laughs> battle. So the Garchomp Machamp matchup here, we're just gonna go ahead and, um, what's it called? Mud shot him all the way down, farming the entire way. We shield a close combat, thank God. I don't know how I didn't see that the first time when I was dealing with Machamp, but he decides to quit out of that match. So that's just a taste of what we're gonna be doing, right? Um, and you see all the information there. You can pause it if you want, you know, absorb more of that information. But the Machamp beats the Guard Chomp in, um, he, the Machamp has to shield once in order to beat Guard Chomp. Guard Chomp's outrage does 96% of its damage. All right, so now we got Togekiss into Gyarados. Now this matchup is very interesting. So if, if the, the, um, the Gyarados has Dragon Breath, you can straight farm down, no shield, and be left with 22 health. Uh, if it has waterfall, you are gonna have to shield once, but you can straight farm down and uh, be left with 30 health. You can, if you want, uh, throw a ancient power, will do 50% of its damage or take a shield. Uh, but I tend to like to save that uh, energy for the next Pokemon so that you can have you can uh, regain either the shield or whatever you know whatever you decide to do with this matchup but as you can see ancient power was doing 46% uh, aqua tail is doing 36.9 and uh, I'm gonna put all that information on the screen there for you but yeah so you farm down with dragon breath you shield once with waterfall now I'm a champ for swampert here <coughs> this is gonna be another uh, pretty interesting matchup again Machamp kind of requires a shield 
But if you want to take it to the zero shield scenario here, you will be left, uh, the Swamper will be left with four HP. And then if you want to use no shields on, on, uh, on the champ as well, but the Swamper shields, then you will be left with 54 HP on the Swampert. So if the Swampert shields, you really ought to shield so that you will end up flipping the match and you end up winning the match with a 512 um, battle rating. So probably an, about four HP left over. Um, so that's how that one goes. Uh, basically, these Hydro Cannons are gonna be doing almost two thirds of your, dam of, of your health in damage, which is insane. 2.02 damage per energy is so much damage per energy, especially for a non-debuff move. It's crazy. Thank you, Airplane. And, uh, yeah. So then now we got Garchomp into Metagross. And you think it's pretty straightforward, right? But, um, basically, Garchomp's Sand Tombs are... This matchup, you can play literally so many different ways. I have recently liked to uh, farm up to what would be an earthquake so that's one past outrage and then throw sand tomb hope to get the, the, the shield on the first sand tomb so that you know what I mean so they don't have it for the last one so I, I actually did end up doing that there but now we're gonna have just enough health left over I think after this meteor mash here yep I think he may have undercharged there. I don't know why that did so little damage but we're trying to farm all the way down. We realized that we we're actually running into probably a chance of him getting to another meteor mash. So we throw there, and then in comes Swampert. And can we get to it? And we get to the sand tomb. Oh, so good, so good. All right, so this is kind of a, the idea. Um, please, in the comments, put as many comments as possible about what other information you want to know, what other things I could tell you. Uh, this is literally just the kernel of an idea that I want to explore so yeah um, and if you want me to and analyze your battles I would be more than happy to that's kind of the whole point so if you would like in the comments below and you got like some super close losses you're like how the hell did I lose that I would love to keep trying to do these and keep getting better at them all right thank you PB poppers please hit that subscribe button I put a lot of effort into these videos these take way more effort than just straight battle videos so thank you very much Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share it all over the place, and I will see you on the next one.